Mr. Lloyd E. Royce, Director of Engineering, Chevrolet Motor Division. When Chevrolet engineers work to improve the efficiency of a vehicle, there are two basic directions to take. One way is to improve the overall packaging efficiency, or in other words, its size and shape, and where the components and the passengers are positioned. Now in terms of packaging, our 1981 van looks very similar to last year's. That's because the design of our van is a very efficient package when considering the duty cycles it's designed to perform. It carries large cargo and heavy payloads or lots of people in an enclosed space. Now what our engineers have done for 1981 then is to take this efficient package and then zero in on the other area where efficiencies can be gained, the powertrain and the chassis components. For example, we've developed a unique electronic spark control system for our 5-liter V8. The result is a high-compression, small-displacement power plant that offers the customer the best of both worlds. He gets nearly the same horsepower and torque of the larger 5.7-liter V8, yet fuel economy approaching a six-cylinder. Also, our new vans and sport vans need less power to get rolling and keep rolling because of our new low-drag brakes and our high-pressure radial tires. And then the torque converter clutch we've engineered for the automatic transmission helps reduce fuel wasting slippage. That's because it operates similar to a manual transmission at cruising speeds when the clutch is engaged. So while the 81 Chevy van essentially looks the same, engineering technology has provided an important step ahead in efficiency. And that means more to today's value conscious customer. Chevy vans and sport vans incorporate the latest in automotive thinking to achieve the high level of operating efficiency needed for today's kind of driving. This impressive efficiency starts with Chevy vans aerodynamic styling that enables it to slip through the wind. In fact, Chevy vans have a lower drag coefficient than many passenger cars. To illustrate drag coefficient, this sheet of plywood being pushed against the air has a high drag coefficient of 1.0, totally inefficient. A raindrop has a near perfect drag coefficient of zero because it's being shaped by the air current. The drag coefficients of today's redesigned passenger cars range approximately from 0.4 to 0.5. And a Chevy van falls well within this range with an equally low drag coefficient. Chevrolet efficiency also means refining key components so the vehicle rolls easier on the highway. That's why all Series 10 and 20 Chevy vans and sport vans come standard with radial tires. They are designed to hold more air pressure than the non-radials they replaced. And this, combined with new low-drag disc brake calipers, adds up to less rolling resistance, which contributes to the van's fuel economy. The big news in Chevy's engine lineup for 1981 is a high-compression 5-liter V8 with electronic spark control. For the first time, a small displacement 4-barrel V8 that can put out nearly the same horsepower and torque of the larger 5.7-liter power plant. Yet Chevrolet engineers expected to offer fuel efficiency that approaches a six-cylinder engine. This was accomplished first by increasing the engine's compression ratio. High compression, combined with a four-barrel carburetor, increased horsepower and torque. But operating a high compression engine under heavy load conditions with regular unleaded fuel usually creates detrimental engine knock that robs power and wastes fuel. To control knock and still enable this engine to operate at peak efficiency without the need for higher cost, higher octane fuel, engineers developed the innovative electronic spark control system. It features a sensor that listens for detonation in the engine and when it hears the first hint of knock, it instantly signals a control unit, which in turn, electronically retards engine timing to control knocking. The unit then allows the timing to adjust back to the highest possible spark advance for the right combination of performance and efficiency. It's like driving with a master technician under the hood. Every Chevy van and sport van under 8,500 pounds GVWR and equipped with an available automatic transmission features another technological development in powertrain efficiency, a torque converter clutch. 
It provides a mechanical link with the engine at normal road speeds that allows the engine to operate at reduced RPM. This mechanical linking helps prevent fuel wasting slippage. Here's a demonstration. This tachometer is reading engine RPM just before the torque converter clutch engages. As acceleration levels off to a normal road speed, the clutch engages. Notice how the RPM drop accordingly. The end result? The engine turns slower, so it doesn't have to work as hard, adding to fuel efficiency. With innovative improvements like these, plus a wide range of available power team components, the right Chevy van and sport van can be selected to meet individual requirements for fuel efficiency and impressive performance. Chevy van and sport van handle rugged assignments day in and day out because of their built-in toughness, built-in value. Chevy tough means things like suspensions built to take a beating from rugged roads and heavy cargo. Up front is Chevy's massive girder beam independent suspension featuring a rugged steel crossmember, computer selected coil springs and four heavy duty steel control arms. Together they provide a smooth ride and help keep the wheel movement vertical to help prevent tire scrubbing. Tough, weight-saving, unitized construction enables Chevy vans to handle big payloads. Heavy gauge steel side rails, cross sills, and outriggers form an integral frame, which is welded together with front and rear floor panels to form a rigid underbody structure. For added structural rigidity, steel side strainers and roof bows form the framework for the one-piece side and roof panels. Rust is the enemy of any vehicle owner. And that's why Chevrolet engineers have intensified their extensive anti-corrosion treatments over recent years. In 1978, for example, the sliding side door outer panel incorporated the use of special zinc-coated steel. Galvanized steel was added to the side door track and other critical areas. Last year began the use of zinc-coated steel for the body side outer panels. For a tighter, more leak-resistant body, special sealers are applied to sheet metal joints before welding. And two-sided galvanized steel for the rear wheel housing splash shields. And this year, the rear outer door panels are now made of two-sided galvanized steel. The entire body and doors are submerged in an electrically charged zinc primer that magnetically draws the paint into hidden seams and crevices. After a rich coat of enamel paint is baked on, aluminum wax preservative is sprayed in the lower body inner surfaces to help bite moisture and corrosion. Chevrolet is so confident of its intensified anti-corrosion program that all Chevy vans and sport vans are backed by a perforation from corrosion limited warranty for a full 36 months no matter how many miles are driven. Chevy Tough, the added value built into Chevy vans and sport vans that keep them working hard and looking good. Chevy van and sport van are styled for function and convenience with a wide choice of trim and paint options to suit personal tastes, while the standard bold argent painted grille adds to the tough truck image. This handsome bright grille with rectangular headlamps and bright trim is standard on the top of the line Beauville sport van and on Chevy Nomad. It's optional on other models. Available for 1981 are these handsome moldings that can add to Chevy Van's good looks. Or, for that custom look in a van, there's the contemporary Chevy Sport option. On the inside, Chevy Van styling helps make work a pleasure. From the new striped vinyl standard seat trim, to the neatly laid out instrument panel, to the functional engine cover. For added luxury, these custom cloth high back bucket seats and matching door trim are standard on Beauville and Nomad trim levels along with new spun nylon carpeting, rubber step well mats, color keyed headliner, visor mirror and more. And there's a new mid-level trim available with Sport Van in 1981, Chevy Bonaventure. 
It includes bright grille with round headlamps, chrome bumpers, high back bucket seats with custom vinyl trim, full length headliner, deluxe instrument panel, and color keyed full length rubber floor covering. That's Chevy's brand of styling for 1981, marked by distinction and all around functional good looks. Chevy van and sport van can add to the ease and enjoyment of a big day's work because they're designed with comfort and convenience in mind. Wide door openings and a low step height help make it easy to get in and out. Once inside, the comfortable seat position provides a commanding outward view through a large glass area and over a short hood that offers impressive down front visibility. Chevy's instrument panel is laid out so instruments are easy to read and controls are easy to reach. The engine cover offers the functional convenience of a parcel tray, beverage holders, wide ashtray, and handy storage compartment as well. For added pleasure, Chevy offers a wide selection of comfort and convenience options. Seven sound systems are available, including AM-FM stereo radio with CB unit. Power front side windows to avoid that long reach across. Convenient power door locks that instantly lock all doors with the flick of a single switch. And there's even a rear air conditioning unit available, so rear passengers can be as comfortable as those in front. A comfortable, smooth ride for people and cargo is standard on Chevy vans and sport vans. It's the result of bump smoothing independent suspension up front and two-stage multi-leaf suspension at the rear. Here's a demonstration to show how Chevy van suspension works to help prevent road shocks from reaching the driver and passengers. Flares have been mounted on the door and on the front wheel. Look at the action as the van handles this rough course. The results are plain enough to see. Chevy suspension absorbs most of the bumps before they ever reach the body. In spite of their interior roominess, Chevy vans and sport vans are easy to handle and park. The fact is that even the long wheelbase model is shorter in overall length than a full-size station wagon. Chevy vans and sport vans. Comfortable to ride, convenient to operate, great to own. With today's concern for economy, efficiency, and value for the dollar, Chevy van and sport van make a lot of practical sense. They carry large loads of cargo in an efficiently sized, concealed, and lockable storage space. Wide opening doors in the side and the rear make loading and unloading easy. Chevy vans and sport vans are versatile. They haul big payloads of cargo, or with available seating, lots of people in roomy comfort, or plenty of people and cargo together, as well as tow-heavy trailers when properly equipped. What makes the new Chevy van and sport van a better value today? It's simple. The latest in innovative automotive technology makes them economical to operate. They offer impressive fuel economy, as well as long recommended service intervals to help keep maintenance costs down. Here are America's hard-working vans in a choice of short and long wheelbase models, with gross payloads ranging from 1,066 up to 4,206 pounds. The 110-inch wheelbase Chevy van has a short overall length, yet inside it handles up to 246 cubic feet of cargo. For even larger loads, the 125-inch wheelbase model has a maximum loading length of 14 and a half feet and provides up to 296 cubic feet of space, enough to handle a large bulky cargo like this. And for extra large load space, there's Chevy's high cube van, featuring a selection of high wide bodies with available load space up to 570 cubic feet. 
When you need to carry lots of people comfortably and economically, Chevy Sport Van is an efficient, practical way to go. It's ideal for large families and for commuter van pooling, where more can ride for less. An important consideration with today's concern for fuel efficiency. Standard are comfortable high back front bucket seats and a three passenger center bench seat. Add an available second bench seat and sport van can seat eight adults. And an optional third bench seat available on the G31 ton model and up to 12 adults can ride in comfort. For five passenger seating with a roomy plywood paneled cargo area, choose Chevy Nomad. It's also available with front and rear bucket seats that can swivel and recline. And new this year for Chevy Nomad and Sport Van is an available center folding seat that, when unlocked, permits the backrest and extension to be unfolded, making a convenient travel bed ideal for family trips. That's Chevy Van and Sport Van for 1981. The logical choice for efficiently hauling cargo or carrying people in the 80s. Of all the types of cars and trucks on the American highway, one stands out from the crowd. El Camino. The practical vehicle, offering impressive fuel efficiency, the style and comfort of a passenger car, plus the hard-working ability of a pickup truck. It hauls up to 1,250 pounds of gross payload, more than some regular half-ton pickups. And the rugged rib steel cargo box can carry large loads like these. When properly equipped, El Camino can tow trailers weighing up to 5,000 pounds. For 1981, El Camino versatility has never been more beautiful. A new bold horizontal grille treatment accentuates the low road hugging look and new parking lamps add to that handsome appearance. In addition to the base El Camino, there's a variety of exterior styling available. Conquista, for example, is accented by this striking two-tone paint treatment, available in 15 combinations. Bright moldings and a distinctive Conquista decal. Or there's the contemporary look of the Super Sport model, featuring rally wheels, unique paint accent on the lower body, eye-catching lettering, streamlined color-keyed sport mirrors, and a front air dam style for improved aerodynamics and beauty. For that distinctive apart from the crowd look, the Royal Knight package builds on the features of Super Sport and includes striking hood decal, color-keyed pinstriping, and nameplate decals on the front fender and tailgate. Hard-working utility, distinctive looks, a smooth ride that rivals a passenger car, together with great fuel economy, makes El Camino the practical choice to handle the tasks of the 80s. When looking for a good combination of performance and efficiency in a pickup truck, look no further than El Camino because El Camino features new innovations and functional improvements to continue to provide impressive operating efficiency in 1981. And there's a wide choice of power teams, so the right engine, transmission, and rear axle ratio can be selected to fit individual performance needs. All El Caminos are equipped with an onboard digital computer that's designed to help reduce exhaust emissions while providing efficiency and smooth engine performance. Computer Command Control continually monitors information from as many as six sensors, including throttle position, manifold vacuum, oxygen readings, engine temperature and engine speed. The Space Age computer then processes this information and makes adjustments to as many as six different systems including the carburetor fuel system and the ignition system. In fact, the computer can make up to 10 carburetor adjustments per second. By continually monitoring the engine systems, computer command control is fine-tuning the engine as it's driven. 
Computer Command Control is also programmed to activate a torque converter clutch that's standard on all El Caminos with automatic transmissions. It provides a mechanical link with the engine at normal road speeds that allows the engine to operate at reduced RPM. This mechanical linking helps prevent fuel wasting slippage. Here's a demonstration. This tachometer is reading engine RPM just before the torque converter clutch locks in. As acceleration levels off to normal road speed, the clutch engages. Notice how the RPM drop accordingly. The end result? The engine turns slower while road speed is maintained. The easier rolling the vehicle, the less power it takes to move it. That's why all El Caminos are standard with a new generation of higher pressure radial tires. They roll easier than the non-radials they replaced and actually contribute to El Camino's impressive fuel efficiency. In addition to fuel economy, El Camino offers operating efficiency through long recommended maintenance intervals under normal driving conditions. For example, 7,500 miles between oil changes, or longer than the distance from New York to LA, back to New York, and back to LA again. 30,000 miles for spark plugs, or the equivalent of once around the world. And 100,000 miles for automatic transmission fluid, or almost four times around the world. And with an El Camino, there's no need to replace points and condenser because of a high energy ignition system that puts out up to 35,000 volts, providing a hotter spark than a conventional system for quick starting in all kinds of weather. El Camino for 1981, engineered to offer outstanding operating efficiency in a hard working pickup. Underneath El Camino's passenger car eye appeal is a hard working truck, built to handle up to 1,250 pounds of gross payload without overloading. The all steel full perimeter frame is designed especially for El Camino. 14 strategically placed body mounts help soak up road shocks and isolate road noise from the passenger compartment. For a smooth, balanced ride, Husky coil springs are computer matched to the weight of each El Camino, including options. On curves, El Camino's standard front stabilizer bar helps keep things on an even keel. When it comes to the business end of this truck, cargo items slide in or out on a sturdy steel floor that's ribbed. And standard air adjustable rear shock absorbers help level the load and stabilize the ride. The box sidewalls and tailgate feature double wall construction so that minor dents on the inside don't show on the outside. And extensive anti-corrosion treatments help keep El Camino looking good. Zinc-rich pre-coated or galvanized steels are used in areas especially critical to corrosion. The entire body is spray primed or totally submerged in a vat of electrostatically charged primer. Special sealers are applied to welded joints to help keep out moisture. Then, aluminum wax preservative is sprayed inside the fenders, box sides, and doors. Corrosion protection for El Camino is so complete, it's backed by Chevrolet's three-year perforation from corrosion warranty. That's El Camino's built-in value for 81. Good looks never carried so much weight. more to enjoy than ever before with the 1981 El Camino. More style from this new instrument panel and conveniently placed controls. More passenger comfort with this newly available 55-45 split bench seat in smart knit cloth or easy to care for vinyl. The seat choice includes optional buckets in attractive new fabric or vinyl as shown here with available center console. Or for comfortable three-passenger seating, choose the standard bench seat in stylish knit cloth or vinyl. El Camino is designed to add pleasure to utility. And unlike many other economy pickups, 
El Camino offers cab room for three adults and a wide array of available options, like a comfort tilt wheel that adjusts for easy driving, air conditioning with five instrument panel air vents for controlled comfort, the convenience of available power windows, and added security and convenience of available power door locks. You get a choice of six optional sound systems, including this AM FM stereo radio with stereo cassette tape. And for easy, comfortable maneuvering, power steering is standard for 1981. El Camino's smooth, comfortable ride also means a quiet ride. Amber Light, a flexible, dense blanket that absorbs sound, is used extensively around the passenger compartment. For instance, here, underneath the luxurious cut pile carpeting. And the headliner is foam padded. Thick door seals help seal out wind noise. And the use of mastics and fiberglass blankets under the hood help absorb engine and road noise. In addition to a quiet, comfortable ride for passengers, El Camino offers plenty of enclosed storage space. Here behind the seat and in this concealed storage area, ideal for storing valuables and large enough for a standard piece of luggage. Car-like comfort and operating convenience, part of what makes owning an El Camino pickup so enjoyable.